Daniele Lera, Assistant Professor of Design Strategy in the School of Management of the Polytechnic of Milan. In the last year I spent uh, several times and uh, I did a lot of research uh, about the interplay between uh, design and technology, moving the focus from uh, the application development, where there are already a lot of established managerial practices such as technology brokering and technology integration, to the technology development phase. Technology unveil several opportunities, especially in the first stages of the technology development. Several directions can be chosen in order to exploit the potentialities coming from new technology. At the same time, without a specific guidance, usually companies look at new technology in order to replace the old or obsolete ones. In this uh, way, they used to provide the same benefit, improving uh, the performance system features already provided by whole technologies. In this sense, they represent a sort of answer to those explicit needs that companies can perceive in the market. But in reality, technology can allow to provide new application, leveraging on new futures and performances. If you will be able to discover those hidden mean meanings that technology can provide. Considering that new technologies can allow the development of infinite directions, the real challenge in the first stages of the technology development is in understanding and identifying the application field where the exploration should start. The identification process of the explorative application field should follow criteria and rules that are completely different from the uh, traditional one. First of all, the explorative application field should be interpreted as a playground where companies can really understand the hidden meaning of the new technologies. This means that that playground should challenge the technology you already have in your hands and at the same time should allow you to really understand the uniqueness of the technology you are mastering. Through the research that we have done in the last years, we have identified three main managerial practices that you can follow in order to identify the explorative application field. The first one is about the identification of the uniqueness of the technology you are managing. It's necessary to really understand the abstract essence of the technology you are developing, breakdowning it in different categories of properties accordingly to the nature you are investigating. And in this case, I'm talking about the physical, mechanical, but also the aesthetical future that the technology can provide to the market. Also in this case, the dialogue between designers and scientists can allow you to look at the same properties from different angles. The second energy of practices is about sizing the application fields. Starting from the investigation about those competitors that are providing on the market similar technologies could allow you to identify those potential markets where your technology could apply. But we strongly believe that the deep analysis of the end user experience can allow you to really look at areas where the technology you are already developing can transfer and consecutively apply. Finally, the third managerial practice is learning by probing. Iterative and quick cycles based on fast prototyping, the development of mockups, can allow you to really understand the opportunities and the capabilities that a single technology can provide to you in terms of application development. Through this learning process, you will be more aware about the opportunities that the technology can unveil.